Okay, thank you very much. Um, so let's go here. Where's my presentation? No, it's not there. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's it's not work. It's just go forward. Yeah. I'm supposed to be the technical guy here, technological guy, right? There you go. Okay, thank you very much. So uh, thank you very much. Um, this presentation about the project we are um, uh, building for the RIMREP program. It's called the Data Management System. Um, and it's built by the wonderful team at uh, UTAS and the University of Tasmania in Hobart. Over there, there we have the full team here. So the idea will be to um, show you how we are working. It's a work in progress. And um, um, we are in, um, inside the RIM Ref 20, uh, the RIF 2050 um, uh, program, framework program, which is a, a big project program that actually wants to provide the best uh, um, information for make uh, the best informed management decision for the conservation of the, of the Great Barrier Reef. And then um, if you see uh, here, no. Uh, so um, um, basically what we have, uh, we need, we have some management needs uh, and the management needs actually require good data for, for making the right decisions. And then for having the, the, the data you need to first, you need to collect the data and then you need to organize um, um, the data and then deliver the data to the decision making. So uh, uh, persons or, or programs so they can make the right decisions. So uh, what we are doing is um, inside the RIMREP, which is the RIF 2050 Integrated Monitoring and Reporting Program. Um, um, we have the DMS, the data management system at the, at the bottom. So we plan to collect all the data available for the GBR, uh, organize inside a single system and provide data to the upper layers of the RIM rep that is called um, the man management information system and the decision support system. So the idea will be, for example, imagine the RIF authority needs to provide or needs to make one particular report or one particular dashboard that actually need to collect data in, um, in, in a very frequent way. So the idea of the DMS is to provide them in a single way and in a single place, all the data, all the data they need. And also we plan to open the services to the external users as, as you can see in the, in the next slides. But um, um, at the beginning of the project, um, uh, we um, made an, an evaluation of uh, the available data sets. Identify there are actually more than 160 different data collections. And these collections were uh, cataloged depending on the data maturity, how well the data is organized, how available is the data. And also from the managerial point of view, and that was made by the Reef Authority, where they decide, uh, say, for example, I need to do the uh, Reef Outlook report, so I need this and this and this collection. So they catalog the, the data sets in high, medium, or low priority data sets. So when you combine everything, you obtain that 75% of all the data sets comes basically, come basically from uh, different uh, nine, only nine big organizations. So it seems like it, it would be an easy work, but it's not because you can imagine in 160 different data set, all the different formats, uh, characteristics, uh, way of organizing the data is, is a big job. So uh, basically this is a uh, uh, similar schema, but uh, we have the DMS, which is the orange box. And then we collect data from different, different sources. The, 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 the circles at the left, at your left, and then organize the data into, do, into two uh, specific formats. And we deliver the data using two specific services or API, which is application program interfaces uh, for delivering data and delivering metadata. The metadata is so important, it's the description of the data itself. So you first have the description of what, what the data collection is, and then you get the data with all the information you need to process the data into the pink box, which is a, a Reef Authority uh, decision support system. Uh, so they can use all the tools, uh, Power BI uh, dashboards, uh, Python, R, notebooks, whatever they need to do with the data they get from the from the DMS. So basically what we have is our internal metadata catalog. It's not uh, the, the definite, the point of truth of the data, uh, but it's internal catalog that describe uh, what we have inside. And, um, and that always refers to the original point of truth. For example, if we are working with a cell temp data set, the social, social economical long-term monitoring program from CSIRO, 
uh, our catalog will describe the collection, but always point to Cyro a metadata catalog. Uh, so the, the things about this stack, which is the catalog, spatial temporal asset catalog, is very flexible, it's high, highly configurable, uh, it's searchable, it has a browser, you can use the browser, or it has an API, an application program interface. Because in, in the end, what we want is kind to, it's kind to establish a machine-to-machine -machine communication. Imagine at the Reef Authority, one machine that is producing the dashboard, and we have at the DMS another machine that actually can talk with the other one and the, from Reef, uh, the Reef Authority, can, they can talk to our machine and collect the data they, they want without any human intervention. That's the idea behind the DMS. So we have a stack catalog, we define catalogs, we organize items inside, and then you can, uh, you can have uh, the link of the repository, the data repository we have. You have the links of the, of the metadata itself. And then um, you have um, the data API, uh, is where you get the data from. So the, the, the nasty blue thing on the top is the API call. The actual thing is you write this into your internet browser and you have the right author authorization, you will get the black screen you have on the right. But it's actually very, very highly readable. So it's very well organized. But you can also have some information about, you can have this nice uh, CSV files as well if you want to work with the CSV files. Or we, we do the same with, uh, with Greeted, I mean, satellite email of or data set that are organized in cells, collection models, e-reef, uh, uh, NOAA, uh, reef, um, uh, coral reef monitoring, etc. And we can provide different format as well. And also uh, an, another, another nasty um, URL that you can use to, to get the data from your browser. But how we uh, you, at this moment, you say, well, this is so technical, how, how, we, how I can use it. Well, what we are doing is we are uh, working uh, on uh, trainings and, and training workshops and producing uh, notebooks to show how to use the different data sets, data collections we have. And um, tomorrow we will have a workshop um, at the Currency Institute. Uh, I don't know how many of you will be there, but you are invited to go. So we can, we can show you how to use the technical stuff of the DMS. The interesting thing is that we decided to provide two, only two different type of formats. So everything will be formatted in two different type of files. So once you know how to get the files and how to process the file, you basically you have access to everything we can we can have inside the, the DMS. So it's a, it's, a, it's a compromise. You need to learn how to use it, but once you use it, you don't need to go outside and fish for the data and different sources and try to figure out what the format is, what variables are, et cetera, et cetera. Um, uh, so basically, and, and we'll finish with that. So how do you use the, the DMS? First, you go to the stack catalog, our metadata catalog, and look what we have inside. So discover what we have inside. Then you get the data you want. And then there are three ways of getting data. One, uh, we always point also to the original data provider. So we never own the data. The data will remain at the data provider side, but we will give you the address of the provider. It's up to you to figure out how to deal with that. We already did it. But if you want to go directly to a provider, up to you. But we provide you the link. The second, we, um, uh, we provide a link to connect directly with the storage we have, which is an Amazon cloud service called S3. And then you can get the data from them, the full collection, or you can connect with them and operate. And this is something we will uh, teach you tomorrow how to use it. And third, and this is the machine to machine communication, you use the API call uh, to communicate with the DMS machine to get the data you want. If you know the parameters and the filters, it's a, it's a very efficient and very, uh, very um, uh, well, well uh, it's, it's working very well for the, for the model. So uh, finally, um, as I mentioned, this, is a, this has been the work of the Rimberg team, the DMS team, the very talented John professional. And if you want to have a look at uh, our um, stack, you have the address there, stack uh, at um, reefdata.io. And you can see how odd the collection we have. Um, you can also look at our examples. It's a GitHub repository, so you can go there. There's a I think 10 or 12 different notebooks and we continue developing every month, adding new new examples. Tomorrow we will be working with a, a socioeconomical long-term monitoring program. In the previous workshop, we worked with a more physical chemical, physical chemical variables. And if you have any questions, we will be here today or write us uh, an email at info.reinbrep.utah.edu. Uh, Thank you very much.